Hey guys, welcome back. It is round 9 of Super Rugby Aotearoa. Last weekend was not the best weekend for predictions. I didn't get anything right in this competition. It is a harsh one to predict. I think Super Brew said the average is 60% for everyone that plays their game. So it is actually quite difficult to predict winners in this competition. Chiefs versus Hurricanes this weekend. Again, difficult one to call. But with the Chiefs being the in-form team in New Zealand at the moment. Winning four games in a row. Last week against the Crusaders as well. Even though that was by one point. That was a big victory for them. I did not call that. If you did, there was a couple of you in the comments last week that did call a Chiefs victory. Do let me know down in the comments below. The Hurricanes won from six so far this season. Two losses in a row. And then they uh, lost to the Crusaders in their last game by three points. And then they had the bye. So if you do look at it just by their game against the Crusaders, the Chiefs are supposed to win by four. But that's not how rugby works, is it? So let's get into the teams. There's a couple of changes for both teams. The Hurricanes, since the last time they played, they had a big injury to their captain, unfortunately. Savea is out for the rest of the season. So uh, Dane Coles, he is the captain for the side this time around. He has extended his contract till 2023 with New Zealand Rugby and the Hurricanes. So he is a guy that everyone knows as a Hurricane stalwart and he's going to continue that by captaining the side this week against Takihau and number two big battle there I think the number two for the Chiefs has been doing quite a good job so far then guys that also have been doing quite well the scrum Ross and Ta'avau I think they are not getting enough credit for the job they have been doing so far last week against the Crusaders pack they did a good job all the weeks before in that four victories they've had these two guys have been scrumming really well Numia and Lomax, they will maybe have a tough task at hand. Vai in number four and Blackwell at number four for the Hurricanes. Arkoy, I continue to get impressed by this guy. He's just such a hard runner with the ball. He gets that hands free every now and then, just like Vai. And then they get good offloads through to other players. They are very dynamic for two locks. Scrafton at number five for the Hurricanes. At number six, Princip versus Mitchell Brown. Number 7 is a big battle when it comes to breakdown time with Karifi and Boshia. Boshia, it looked like he's been playing all this time because last week it looked like he was just in good form. Played very well. You saw that he missed playing the game that he loves. Karifi, he's back at number 7 with Savia being injured. Flanders, he's at number 8 for the Hurricanes. Sawakula, he comes in at number 8. That is because Jacobson, he has a bit of a concussion. If I have it correctly, you can maybe let me know. I'm not quite sure about that one. Luke Campbell, he continues at number 9. Up against a veteran for the Chiefs with Brad Weber at number 9 for them. Captaining the side quite well in recent weeks. Then at number 10, it is a bit of a head scratcher there with Bryn Gatlin coming in at number 10. I mean, DMAC, Damon McKenzie did a good job at number 10. They beat the Crusaders for crying out loud with him at number 10. He's not continuing there. Gatland versus Ruben Love. The teenager did a quite a good job last time he did start at number 10. He's got a, quite, a, a few good runs there as well last time he started. So we'll see how he does against Get Gatland this time around. Then Laumape at number 12. Nankaville also had a, a good run or two last week. Breaking the line a couple of times. Getting a couple of meters as well. He's up against a guy that does exactly the same thing. Not that he's do, doing too much of that this year. Quite a silent year for Laumape so far this year. Pito Maga Jensen, he continues at number three. Good for them to continue with him there. They've been skipping out on him the whole time, keep, keeping him on the bench. Last time he started, he played quite well. Again, he's starting this week against Anton Leonard Brown. That's an All Blacks tryout over there. So big game ahead at number 13. At number 11, Rayasi comes in. Khusen shifts from... Number 11 to 14, that means uh, Savia, he's out of the team completely this week. And let's face it, he's not been in the best form. Rayasi, he's been in brilliant so form so far for the Hurricanes though. Then Nano Satoro, the hot stepper, I can't wait to see what he does when he gets the ball all the time. Jonah Lowe at number 14, D-Mac, Damon McKenzie, like I said, he's at number 15 this week. Maybe that is because Jordy Barrett is at number 15, that is... 
your two best number 15s probably in New Zealand at the moment. So it's a bit of a tryout there as well to see who gets the upper hand in this game. Jordy Barrett, he's been brilliant for the Hurricanes, scoring most of their points and playing all of their minutes. Same for Damon McKenzie, also playing every single minute for his side so far and scoring a lot of match winners for his team as well. When we get to the two benches, there's a couple of, couple of changes as well. The front row for the Chiefs there isn't changed with Harris, Norris and then Mafaleo. For the Hurricanes, they have Amua and Fidal, but Rakete Stones comes in this week around. Walker Laiwere, he goes on to the bench this week. For now, is on the bench as well for the Chiefs. Boshia will come on somewhere in the game for his brother. Via Fafita at number 20. Uh, then we have Tuahura Aurangi at number 21. Versus Iyose, I'm not sure how to say his name. He's a debutant this week as well as Pohiti for the Chiefs as well. Roygaard, I don't know too much of him as well. But Chase Tiatia, I know a lot of him. Billy Proctor, I know a lot of them as well. They are the number 23s and they are the guys that are going to have to add a lot of impact from the bench for the two back lines for the team. Chase Tiotia, quite surprised to see him on the bench this week. I actually thought they did well with the DMAC and then Tiotia in that combo. But hey, not going for that this week. Guys, if I do go to predictions, I do think the scrum of the Chiefs is a bit stronger. When you do go to the line out, Blackwell and Scrafton, they're good. But Vai and Akoi... They've been putting their hands up quite well. I think they're going to do a good job as well. Breakdown time, it's probably pretty even though Boshia did pretty well last week as well. So going into the big facets of play, at number 10, the Chiefs might have the upper hand with a bit more experience there. I do think the Chiefs will win this one by 10 points. Let me know your prediction down in the comments below. Also, check out these videos next to me. Hit the subscribe button if you do like the channel. And then I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.